Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this May the 12th. Some decent rainfall overnight, early this morning. Most of it came after midnight. Looking at uh, the mezzanine sites, we picked up over an inch and six tenths. That's an inch and a half plus just here in Bowling Green. And we have some around us that picked up about an inch of rain or more. Others picked up anywhere from a half inch to three quarters. Beneficial rainfall last night. Uh, good, good, decent rainfall. And uh, we're not done. We're still seeing some activity on radar this morning. And it looks like throughout the day there are going to be these showers, especially this morning. And then slowly tapering off as we go through the day. As far as thunderstorms or severe weather, not really looking for much of that. That came yesterday with a few of those storms. It did produce some hail, uh, some lightning, gusty winds. But most of that is now gone as far as the rough weather. As we uh, look at the numbers, from yesterday we reached a high of 85 at the Bowling Green Airport at 2 p.m., 9 degrees warmer than the average of 76. 69 was our low. 54 is where we should be. So that's a 15-degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 83 and a low of 65 back in 2016. Now, out at the airport, they only picked up a trace of rainfall from yesterday evening when we had some showers roll through. But the real winter were the mezzanine sites after midnight picking up on that well over an inch and a half of rain here in Bowling Green. A lot of that will register as the uh, the airport will do their uh, morning update on rainfall at about 7 a.m. But I think we're going to see some really good numbers as far as it's uh, coming in uh, for precipitation. And we're not done, as I mentioned. Still a 70% chance that you'll see occasional showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder today, and 70 or near 70, upper 60s for some and a north wind at 8 now that that front is making its way through. Rain ending this evening, an overnight low at 52, clearing overnight, and Saturday begins a long trend of sunny, dry, but warm weather. Saturday, sunshine, 74. Sunday, which is Mother's Day, beautiful, sunny and 82. Monday, sunny, 85. Tuesday, sunny, 88, maybe hitting 90 in a couple of spots. Wednesday, we'll see mainly sunny skies at 87. We are not mentioning any rain in the forecast next week until Thursday, when we'll see showers coming in with the next cold front and a high of 85. So enjoy the nice drying out period over the next few days, and No worries for Mother's Day weekend. If you want to plan something outdoors, it should be great. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. But before I go, I do want to remind you that today is the first day of ticket sales for the brand new 2017 St. Jude Dream Home, which will be given away August 27th right here on WBKO, and starting this morning with AM Kentucky, you will be able to call an 800 number, and when you call that number, you can order your $100 ticket or tickets. Some people buy more than one, and some people like to buy their tickets right on the first day so they can get in there before they're gone. We've sold out the last two years. So you don't want to miss this. Plus, you not only have a chance to win that dream home, which is out at Hillview Mill Subdivision, but you have dozens of other prizes that you can win, including a 2017 GMC Terrain donated by Leachman Buick GMC Cadillac. So all you have to do is purchase a $100 ticket and you're in. And if you purchase a ticket today, tomorrow, or by midnight Sunday, you have a chance to win a Nashville getaway. You know, this is going to include food, 
This is going to include Opry tickets. This is going to include a lot of cool stuff. So imagine a Nashville weekend getaway for two with your food and your lodging and everything, tickets to the Opry and all that. That is, if you purchase your ticket before midnight Mother's Day, Sunday, you'll qualify for that. And we've got all kinds of great prizes lined up for this thing coming in the next few weeks and months. So we're just getting started, and today is the first day. All right. Thank you so much for the listening to the podcast. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great weekend and a fantastic Mother's Day as well. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And later today, if you can, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.